the Premier Dancing Flame Candle. This um, is the same style of candle that I bought last year, but um, this is an improvement because they've taken a step in the right direction by changing the original yellow LED to a warm white one. But other than that, it still has a few little niggly details. Now, these are very hard to take to bits, as you'll see from all the smashed wax here, because they actually glue the um, base in with a sort of... It, the, the casing is made of wax, and they glue the casing with a very sort of gooey, sticky glue, and it's very hard to actually get that out without breaking the wax. Um, I broke the one I got last year in the same way, and I broke this one this year, so at least there's consistency there. I open it up and it immediately falls to bits because I've had it open already and this was glued together. This is the method they use for all the different sizes of these candles. They just basically put in a different length of plastic tubing and uh, they glue, glue it into the end of the uh, flame module. Which is a very light, well not really a friction fit, it just loosely fits in, but you know that's a reasonable enough approach. It's simple, it's cheap. In the smallest version of the candle, they would put this, this would clip directly into the base unit here. So it is just a, a standard base and a standard top with the plastic tube being the difference in size. Nothing has really changed since last year in terms of the flame unit. I'll just turn this off at the moment. It's still fundamentally a plastic flame on a support wire and the wire has a slight indent downwards in it to actually keep the flame centered and the flame itself the plastic flame has a magnet on it uh, just take this apart here try and keep this all together as it comes to bits hmm okay it's it's all falling a bit that's all right the wire itself is just a little bit of, well, I'm guessing it might be just steel or stainless steel bar, and it goes into two holes in the end here, so nothing uh, has changed in that regard from last year. Um, it sits in, and there's a slight uh, re dip down at the back of the wire that keeps the, the plastic flame centred. So the flame itself is this assembly here with a tiny little magnet, a very tiny magnet, much smaller than the one in the Luminara. Um, and it's deflected by this open coil, which uh, in the same style as the Luminara is mounted on a bit of circuit board, more just as a mounting arrangement, um, as a, a terminal arrangement. The Luminara was different in the sense that it, it had the coil mounted onto the plastic that protruded through the printed circuit board. The circuit board, which is also glued in, this really is a very, very cheap set of no screws design. Let's see if I can get some of this glue off. There we go. It's got a small inductor, and this might be a little um, chip for stepping the voltage up. Um, where is my magnifying glass, my, my microscope? Let's see if I can read some numbers off these chips. Oh, apparently not, because the little 8-pin chip has no number on it. The Possibly LED driver has the number 2188A. I'm sure that seems familiar. That is the exact same chip that was in the Luminara candle. So I'm wondering if that, that's been used to drive the um, LED. I wonder if it's a dedicated step up circuit. I'm guessing, just because it's so it's so common to find this that the, the chip might possibly just be a PIC microcontroller, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Maybe not. Maybe it's a dedicated chip. Doubt it.
Uh, no number in the trip, which is always disappointing. Looking at the fact that the... Um, oh, no, that's going out to the LED, that pin, so that may actually be... Um, oh, and the output of that is to the positive pin of the pick. Yeah, it's possible that this may actually, this little step-up circuit may actually be powering the whole thing by providing maybe a stable 5 volt or 3 volt supply to the microcontroller and the LED. Yeah, interesting. But uh, not an awful lot on it. It does have 4 MHz crystal again, so it is very much a... I'm not sure which came first. I'm guessing the Luminara came first and this is a copy. And it's a, certainly it's a cheaper copy. Um, it, uh, it costs a third of the price of the Luminara. But I'm wondering why they still go for choosing the wax body as opposed to just actually getting it, make it in plastic. Because I know, I, I don't think people, if they're going to buy a candle with a plastic flame, they're not going to be overly bothered about whether the the shell is uh, quite a heavy wax body or if it's just going to be plastic uh, if they're just looking for the visual effect. So it's interesting enough. Um, I've got some niggles about the design. Um, the LED doesn't seem to hold, it doesn't seem to project the light directly onto the flame and it's maybe a little bit wide. It's also a, a very odd colour. It's certainly warm white but it's not candle white so it projects a, a rather strange colour. The um, kicking of the flame backwards and forwards is also just a tiny, tiny little bit violent. Um, let's see uh, the coil. Yeah, I think the flame's being driven by that little transistor there. Um, and it's just a wee bit too violent. It tends to thrash the flame and click it backwards and forwards uh, against the housing. Um, so an improvement there would be maybe just to add a resistor in series with this coil to try and reduce that um, excessive movement and make it more subtle. But um, in terms of uh, <coughs> being an emulation of the Luminara, it's not too bad. It's certainly at, at £10, it's a lot more affordable. But um, I think the improvements I'd make would be to restrict the current through the coil a little bit to make it a wee bit less thrashy and to find a good quality and consistent uh, deeper, richer, warm white LED that closer emulates the um, candle intensity, possibly even um, put a resistor in series with the LED if there's not one already. I'm not 100% sure, it doesn't actually 100% look like it. Um, and that would perhaps um, tame it down a little bit and. Uh, and make it more subtle again, because um, it's lacking in in subtlety, is the best description. But uh, other than that, you know, it's a third of the price, so a lot more affordable to a lot more people than the original.